Hello everybody and welcome to the final bonus video of Let's Play Pikmin. In the previous video, we got our asses decimated in the Distant Spring. And today we're going to be tack tackling the final trial one final time. The challenge mode version of the final trial is very, very unique. For starters... If, this, if the HUD will pop up... You start with 100 Pikmin. The only downside is that, well, these 100 Pikmin aren't all at your base. In fact, we're going to have to go around and try to pluck all of them from different corners of the map. Yeah, I know. Kind of interesting, though. Because, like, it's a nice little twist on the normal challenge mode formula that was established so far. And, uh, if you may remember from a couple seconds ago... My actual high score of this, from like a long time ago, when I uh, last played this game, I think it was like 2013 was the last time I played this, because I was prepping myself up for Pikmin 3. But, um... Can you die? There are not a lot of opportunities to grow your Pikmin numbers in this level. At all. Like, look, there's some Pikmin over here, there's like... Some more blues over there, it's... Very sporadic. Because on one hand, you start with a lot of Pikmin. On another hand, there's really not many opportunities to grow more. However, I believe that most of the opportunities to grow more Pikmin are at the end of this area, where we fought the Emperor Bullblacks. And that's where things get very interesting. I don't want to spoil what's there just yet. But if 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 it if it uh if it comes down to me not being able to get my way to that area by the time the day ends, I will tell you what it is. So don't worry about that. Next off, I'm gonna have my blues build this because the stone wall is gone. Thankfully, I don't have to do that nonsense again. And I'm gonna put you guys on this. Wait, hold on. What? NOBODY SAID YOU COULD BE HERE! Oh god. Oh god, please go away. Please go away. Please do everyone a favor and leave me alone! Nobody likes you, Wallywog! NOBODY! Wallywog, please go. Thank you. God, nobody likes Wally Walks. Nobody. I mean, they are cute, but they're just so annoying. <laughs> like, look at that. So far, we haven't even gotten any, like, we've gotten, like, what, 11 Pikmin so far? And we've used about one-fourth of the day? Like, that is... Huh. Huh. Alright, you can come over here. Alright, and I'm gonna have to leave you guys behind, because they finished that bridge. Now, Mr. Wallywog, please hear me out. Please don't kill my guys as I cross this bridge. That would be a disservice to me, and... Oh, sweet, merciful Jesus, why? Oh, God, no! He killed one of my guys. I'm going to ignore the hell out of you so you don't move from your spot. Yes, 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 I know. I'm manipulating the game so that I can't... So my guys won't die, but... Eh, whatever, what can you do? It's a Wallywog. They don't have rights. Wallywogs don't have anything like rights or morality or a soul. Because they're Wallywogs. And Wallywogs are the worst. Man, I've only gotten 17 Pikmin. And woo! Sheer Grubs. Not a fan. Not a- What the hell, guys? Are you kidding me? You separate into the water? That is never a good idea. Ever. Come on, Pikmin. Work with me here. 
All right. Now then. What I meant to do was separate you guys out. I have... Like, just enough Pikmin to be able to go through this fire geyser hell over here. So, this still remains the same from the main game. I'm gonna have you push that cardboard box, which is up over yonder. And we can make our way to... I was gonna say the final trial, which... You know, is where we're at right now. But I mean, the final part of the final trial. And it's a very, very unique setup. I don't know why that red Pikmin was trying to follow me, but thankfully he's not dead. Yet. Cross my fingers, hope to die. Stick a needle in my eye. Haven't thought about that in years. Damn. Okay. So, as I cross this bridge, please nobody else drown. I don't want to have a repeat of last time. And please break this down. Very good. More enemies here, though. There's actually no reason for us to come over here during the main game, so it's nice that they're getting some use of it out of it right here in the challenge mode. Luckily, one of the perks of having all of your Pikmin planted at the beginning of the day is that by the time you reach about, like, the... I want to say, like, close to the midway point of the day, they're all flowers, so I don't need to get any more nectar to power them up. Unless they die. Which, please don't die, sir. Please kill him, thank you! And I'll... Sure, make some more of your kind. You deserve it. Alright, I'm gonna get you. There's a stone wall over here, that's... Huh. So there's a stone wall over there. Meaning, are there... Wallywog? You're not gonna attempt what I think you're gonna attempt, are you? Please don't try it. Hmm. There might actually be bomb rocks... ...around, uh, here. But then again, I'm very scared. They changed this area quite a bit because... What? Excuse me, what? They buried into the ground. And there's this guy! <laughs> they replaced the Emperor Bulblax with the Beady Long Legs in challenge mode. And if you remember, the Beady Long Legs has a tendency to kill a lot of my Pikmin, because I'm not the best at fighting him. But let's give it a shot anyway. Uh, please. Blitzkrieg! Blitzkrieg! Will this work? Blitzkrieg! Kill him! Oh, wow! That actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. Okay, then. That is probably the easiest run of BD Long Legs I've ever had in the first Pikmin game. And I say the first Pikmin game because in the, uh, in Pikmin 2, BD Long Legs does appear and. Wow, I actually never knew that before. Apparently, these. These, uh, these Pikmin wither away when the when you enter the, uh, the arena because BD Longlegs is showing up. But they come back after you kill it. I never knew that before. Huh. And, yeah, we have some yellows here as well. But that brings up a good question. Where the hell are the bomb rocks? I could really go for some bomb rocks right now. Hmm. Please don't tell me they're actually up. They're actually up there, aren't they? They're actually up here. Are they actually? <laughs> do I have to do that? Oh. I don't want to actually have to do that puzzle again just for bomb rocks. Alrighty, here we go! While I'm at it, I might as well... ...bring you gentlemen back. Th 
That's better. Wait a minute. I just realized. My high score for this area was... I have the red Pikmin in my party. My high score of this area was 146. Meaning... Assuming that none of my Pikmin die... I'm pretty sure that I'm actually going to get the high score for this area. Huh. Out of all the play- You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be freaking kidding me! <laughs> okay! <laughs> I am shocked! Alright, gotta be careful. I am fathomably shocked that none of my yellows died right there. Okay. Are there actually bomb rocks in here? Are there no bomb rocks? There are no bomb rocks here. There are no bomb rocks there. Where the hell is where the hell are the bomb rocks? I watched a little bit of Slim Kirby's video on this, but I didn't see where he got the bomb rocks, or if he did, I didn't watch the whole video, so that brings up a good question. Where the hell are the bomb rocks? I wanted to show off what was around the, uh, what was around the BD Longlegs arena, because, oh my god. You know what, I don't think I'm going to find bomb rocks, so I'm just going to spoil it right now. If you break down that stone wall and go see what's behind it, there are actually burrowing snaggerts around the arena. Meaning, there are a bunch of bosses surrounded in that one tiny area. You have the BB long legs in the middle, and you have the burrowing snaggerts that surround it. I think there's at least two. At least two. There might be three, but mm, I'm pretty sure it's two. Alright, and I believe the rest of these are just female shield grubs, so I'm just going to take them out. Might as well build up my numbers a little bit more. Are the bomb rocks hidden in these plants? Because I can't see where else they would be. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. There's nothing yet. No bomb rocks. That's so weird. Ho hold on. Uh, guys! Guys! Come on now! This Let's Play is almost over and you decide to drown yourselves. You've made it so far. Come on now, Pikmin. Work with me here. Where are those bomb rocks? I'm genuinely curious because I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be bomb rocks around here. Because there are pellets up there. There are red pellets up there, so I should be able to break that down. Where the hell are the bomb rocks? Please don't tell me that they're actually just in here and I'm being stupid. Okay, good, they're not. Really? He went for it. He freaking went for it! Oh my god. <laughs> what a way to end a Let's Play. Running around like a chicken with his head cut off and then having a Wallywog try to kill me in his last vain attempt at screwing me over one last time. But shockingly enough, I beat my previous best in this area. Not sure how! Not sure how I managed to beat the BD Longlegs so quickly and with so few casualties, but I'll take it! But with that said and done, I've had a lot of fun making these bonus videos. Thank you all so, so much for watching my Let's Play of Pikmin. And I'll see you all next time in my next Let's Play of Super Mario Land. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all then.